My name's Dorian Clare. I'm 68 years old. I was born in Seattle and didn't move to California until I was two weeks old. So I am a Seattleite, but I live in California. The shop's in San Francisco. Been here about 30 years. Been at this since I was eight. So 60 years. Anyway, I fix old clocks. Clocks used to be worth a lot of money, but they're not worth much anymore because nobody wants them. Oh, I would guess it was made in 1808, 1810, somewhere along in there. That's a very good clock. No brass chips, just dirt. You can see what needs to be done better than if you don't take it apart. For instance, that clock has some pivots that are acid etched from old-fashioned oils. I'll polish the wear marks out of them and then they won't wear again as rapidly. That's an ultrasonic cleaner that holds about three gallons of ammoniated clock cleaner. Ammonia is a good cleaner for brass and it will the brass will come out fairly bright and then I will brush it with a brass brush. This is a brass brush. And the object is to get the airborne particulate that's pressed into the teeth from the clock running to, to brush it out. Like so. Comes out looking nice and shiny. clean it and brush it first, I'll get the grit out that'll cause it to wear. In fact, it'll probably run about 10 or 15 years without any problem at all. Eventually the oil will collect enough dust out of the air again that'll gum up and stop again. But I'll probably be dead within 15 years and I think the owner will be, so the next person will probably Take the movement out of the case and clean it without taking it apart and cause it to rust. And that will maybe be the end of the clock. Anyway, simple process. 